What's up guys? It's your boy Clinton and today we are coming live and clear from uh, here in the village guys. And that is how it looks like. We have a tea farm right there and people are actually picking up or picking the tea. Yes. So here we are plowing this land. We are making some land. Because the owner of this uh, uh, farm want to plant finger millets. Let me show you how it looks like. So these are the lines met, you see. Wow. Check out that. So I want to go and catch up with my uncle and also one of my friends. We were working here today. We came here at around uh, 6 a.m. in the morning. Yes. And now we are done. Just like that. That is how big the farm is. Not very, very big farm. We have made those lines in less than uh, one hour. Yes. So that is what we usually do basically in the village. Uh, plant with the land by the use of oxen. I, I didn't do a video because already I've done a video about this. But I also want to, I just wanted to update you on what is happening. Okay, so I want to catch up with my, my friends. They are just right up here. Yes. Let's go, let's go guys. So that is the morning. It's a beautiful morning here in the village. Not shaking that much. I hope that I hope so. Yes. Let's go, let's go guys. This is more of an exercise. Wow. So I'm passing through a forest. And it's very, very early in the morning. Let me show you the time right now. You won't believe. Yes. Seven forty-eight. Someone is maybe sleeping right now, but we already woke up at around. Uh, my day is usually here in the village starts at around six thirty a.m. Yes, that is common. Yes. So good morning from this side of Africa. Yes. Como estás, my friends? Oh man. So I just want to update you. Give you updates, guys, because I maybe know there's someone who has just subscribed to our channel right now or even today. Guys, it's always good to like practice in the morning, it is super good. <laughs> yeah, let me show you the sun right here. So, what, uh, one, something which happened today, I woke up in the morning and I brought our bull from home. Today we, are, we decided to use just two bulls because uh, making lines on a farm that has already been trod is much, much more easier. So I brought one bull. I went all the way to my uncle's place and then we tied those bulls and then we came back to this farm. I saw my uncle is from Kisi. Yes, and that is where we went to like uh, to get the other bull. So they were, they became two, two of them. You see right there. They are right here. We are opening them. Yes. Look, 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 look. Uh, so that is it, guys. We are now trying to release them. Oh, ili tonisha, adi mepunje. Oh. So, you guys want to help them and then we continue. So, guys like that, we keep going now. Let's go. And here's a river up there, people fetching water. This river is called Sinet. Yes, and you can see some people there with donkeys. Yes. It's only that the sun is coming from that, that direction, you could see it very well. But right there. Yes. So just like that, go. So we are now going to Kisi. So we are very close to Kisi County, guys. If you are just new on this YouTube channel, uh, 
Uh, your boy comes from a village called Mulim. As I just told you earlier, and this border is found very, very close. I'm going to show you the border right now. Yes, guys. It's more of updating you, and you are reporting one on one live. Let's go guys, let's go. I want to show you the I even want to show you our village from up here. So this is how we after we are coming from the farm, that is how we take the uh, the plow. We don't plow the, the road, we just let it lie down. So let me show you. So this is what, it has come off the bull again. So this is what broke. It's called Segei, this one. You may a ten. What? It has removed this one, guys. So, I'll catch up with you just right now. Let's try to help the bull. Okay, guys. We finally uh, helped the bulls again. And we are on our way. Yes. So that is our village. But this is the side of Naro County here in Kenya. And it's very early in the morning, guys. If you have been uh, watching us since we started this video, you must have seen the sun just rising. Let me show you. Look. Let's go. Wow, look at the views of the village. I want to show you our home from somewhere here. Yes. Kama mambo iko smart wewe unafanya kazi. Wow. So that is the village uh, called Olmelil. It starts we have a shopping center right here where the sun is rising from somewhere up here. But now this is the village. So that is the village. That is that side over there is called Romosha. Down there we have some hills. And even down here, if you go like that, we have a place, a town called Gori, somewhere right down there. Yes. Our home, I don't know even if I can see our home from right here. Let me show you if I can be able to zoom in. Yes. And guys, here we have giant trees. Giant trees. Yes, I'm gonna show you just right now. You see? So, our home is somewhere right, right here. Right there. Somewhere right here. That is our home. It's actually hidden. Lots, lots of trees right there. Yes, that is it, guys. Wow. So that is our home village. But if you have seen something, uh, there's a lot of, uh, there are lots of farms and people tend to live kind of far away from each other. Yes. In our village, it is sparsely population or sparsely populated. But here in Kisi, where we are heading to right now, it is densely populated. Look at that giant tree, guys. Can you guess what species of tree is that? That is a gum tree. Yes. There's one down here. And very huge. Yeah. I can bring around five of you. And you still need someone. Uh, maybe two or three people to like complete the circuit. You see how big this is. It's a windy morning. Look. So that's the real uh, gum tree, or cultural trees. Yes. Let me catch up with my uncle and my friends. Yes. So I want to show you the borderline. But it's marked by a road. Yes, 
Let me show you right now. Eh, hey, salama sana. Eh, hey, salama. Eh. Hey. Wow. Eh, yeah, wali asubuhi. Sisi tuko kwa kipindi yetu kama kawaida. Aya. Sasa na shibai, kopoa. Eh. Aya. Guys, just saying hi to our neighbors and so this is the borderland right down here. So this is the road. We take you to a shopping center right down there. It's called Ramash, but it's on a hill also. Yes. And this is the road. So this way, that was narrow from the other side. A place called Transmara and this is Nyanza, Kenya. On this other side. Yes. Come on. Come on. Ruma. What Ruma? Wow. Wow, guys. Welcome back to our village. I know if you have been following me since I started this uh, video, we were plowing the land early this morning. So the local time right now in Kenya is, uh, I think, 10 a.m. Yes. So the time you saw us uh, earlier this uh, morning, we were uh, plowing. Yes, because people are now planting. So we were doing plowing in one of uh, the farms around the village yes but now we are done even the bull you can hear the bell that bull was the one which was uh, plowing yes and now because it's land preparation it's time to prepare the land here in the village here you can see i have a a tool called slasher yeah and i just want to use it right now to like clear this land right here because very soon we are going to plow this land and then we will uh, plant vegetables, kale. We are going to plant kale right here. Yes, very, very soon. I'm going to show you all the processes. Uh, even though I've filmed lots of uh, farming videos, like farming by the use of oxen, and the reason is our village here, many people are do, are do farming. So, you are likely to see more of farming videos, of which it's also village-like, yes. And also other videos apart from farming, like vlogs and also uh, probably in our next videos, I'm going to take you for a hiking adventure and hope you are going to enjoy, guys. Yes. So, what I want to do right now, because this farm, we have actually the other day. And you can see when our cows are grazing right here now. Yes. They are enjoying the grass and uh, the maize stalks. So, I want to do something right here in this farm. Uh, I want to, because very soon we are going to plow this land by the use of oxen. So this, these maize stalks, in one way or the other, they will disturb the, the oxen or flowers. And here in the village, uh, here in our village, we don't do burn this vegetation after maybe harvesting our crops. What we usually do is simply um, slashing the maize stalks which remain behind, and then we plow. Because one problem when you uh, burn your land or you prepare your land by the use of like burning the vegetation, it is not recommended because burning destroys um, the soil structure and also some microorganisms which live in the soil. Such as, um, we have, uh, they are called the earthworms, we also have the soil humus. So in one or the other, when you burn, or you, have, you burn the vegetation around your farm, when you want to prepare your farm or your land, it is not recommended, it's not the best way to like prepare your land because you'll be destroying your soil again. Yes. And even some organisms like moles, not even moles actually, some organisms which ensures they live in the soil and they ensure this air circulation between the soil, yeah, or in the soil, uh, they are going to like uh, die in one way or the other because you burn the land, yeah. And look at the views, guys. Wow. That is a beautiful thumbnail. Yes. So I'm here, I just want to show you how we do prepare land, guys, here in the village. Land preparation now. I just want to slash all this. Yes, I don't know how many, how, how long it will take me, but I hope I'm gonna finish it. Yes. Let's go, guys. So, guys, this is what I want to do. Just like that, so that when you come to like plow the land, it becomes so easy for us to to work right here. Okay.
Wow, guys, village life in Africa. You see this area, the animals consume the maize stock right here. But there are many others which are many. So one advantage of like slashing them down rather than burning them, uh, these maize stalks, maybe after we plow this land, they will, in one or the other, they will decompose and they will add more manure to the soil. And even you have cow them because the reason we also do graze our cows, these pieces of land, after harvesting is because they will also drop their dung, which in one or the other they will add some manure to the soil and make the soil more and more fertile. Alright guys, that is village life in rural Kenya. Basically our morning routine. It is not a daily, it's not a daily morning routine, but at times it can be. Look. Wow, so I've covered this area here. From the other far end all the way that way. Yes. So right there, we have uh, uh, maize stalks, but there are, lo there are lots of animal feeds right there. So right now animals are grazing there. And even if they will want to come and graze on these uh, maize stalks, they will come. Yes. Before we start to plow this land. Yeah. So guys, you let me know what you think about this uh, video today. And uh, yes, for me, it's just to know what you think about this kind of videos. Or this life that we live here in Africa. Yes. Wow. So this will take me a few minutes. And I'll be finishing the entire farm right now. I'm gonna show you that. And guys, if you are joining this uh, live, uh, this video right now, please you can go back and watch the video from the start. Then you'll get the whole story. 
Yes. And keep on enjoying, keep on liking the video, share to your friend, and tell them to subscribe to your boy here. It's Clinton. Wow, look at the views right here. Oh man. So this is one, one method of uh, land preparation. And as I've just explained to you, is that uh, slashing your land is one of the best ways to prepare your land before you, you plow. Because what you'll be slashing will dry and then it will, it will decompose like these blackjacks. In as much as they are going to grow, but it will decompose and add some uh, nutrients to the soil. Yes, at the end of the day, even this maize stock that I'm slashing right here, the moment we plow this land, uh, what will happen here is that they will be covered under the soil and they will decompose. Yes. And then they will result to more and more uh, fertility of the soil. Yes. Of which for me it's a good uh, way of uh, preparing your land. Yes. And clear the bushes by slashing. And even if you are watching me maybe from uh, here in Kenya or even around Africa or around the world, let me know which method do you usually prefer when it comes to land preparation. Do you do slashing or you take your machine right there and then they start plowing the land just like that? More especially when we have vegetation, how do you do that? Like short bushes, do you slash fast or do you take the tractors right there or the bulls or oxen to plow? Yes. You see, very easy. Yes. And my slash is quite not bad. Not bad. It's doing the work very well. It's one touch. Like that one. And we continue. Wow, guys, look at that. We are finally done. Wow, we are finally done. Close to, we, are, we have been here close to like 30 minutes. Yeah, but finally, guys, finally. Yes, we are finishing. You see, that is the end of the farm right there. And uh, yeah, that is it. That is the area that we have just remained with. And let's finish it guys let's finish maybe the next time you'll see your boy here is when we'll be planting to, this time around maybe we're going to plant some uh sukuma wiki or the kales maybe in english you can simply say kales but here in the village you call it sukuma wiki yes we have actually grown them somewhere down there in our kitchen garden uh, but in small small quantity i want to grow here for like the entire of this farm it will be full of uh, kales skuma wiki skuma wiki is a swahili word actually which means skuma is skuma means push and then wiki is a wiki yes that is in swahili so the vegetable is named skuma wiki yes so you eat a vegetable yeah you only you can you only you can actually cook it cook it and enjoy it with uh, ugali which is our staple food here in kenya so you'll never see how the week goes 
Yes, you can use it to push the wick and then and ends the name Sukuma wick. Yes, meaning push the wick. Yes. Wow, guys, look at that. Wow. Just like that. Wow, look. Look at that. Maybe I need to go up here. And then I show you around a little bit. And then it will be it for today. Yes. Look right there. See, people are grazing. Because it's now a season here in the village. People are grazing. And this is what we have done for today. Look at the views. Always beautiful. Wow. Finally, guys. Finally. Let's walk through this farm. Yes. Let's walk through this farm a little bit. So if cows want to come and still graze right here, they can come. I'm going to show you where our cows are right now. Just right now. Before we maybe end this video. Because I've been filming since 7 a.m. Guys, you saw, I even show you the time when I was starting this video. I started it very, very early in the morning today. Okay. So these ones here, these are the malls. So these are the malls. They help in soil aeration, but they also destroy our crops. They are not honest, guys. <laughs> They're never honest. Yes. Wow. So in areas like this, when you find it has been dug like this, maybe these are the young boys who came here to like harvest the the honey. Yes, because bees usually love to the African bees. They usually prefer to live in in kinda caves like those ones. So that is it. Guys, do you believe that we have done the entire work in less than an hour? Yes, in less than an hour, guys, we are finished. Yes. I can simply say maybe 30 minutes at most. 30 minutes. Wow. So all these will decompose and add some manure to the soil. Come on, come on. Wow, guys. So, right here the cows are still raising because we just visited this farm yesterday. Yesterday, guys. Yes. So, right now I want to find a place and show you this other area. We have a small, I can simply say, grazing field or paddock. Somewhere happy, let me show you right now. Okay, guys, please, please, guys, if you, are, if you are new in this channel, kindly consider to subscribe and also share our videos. And most importantly, give it a like because that way you will have saved us a lot. That is the best support you can give your boy. That is the best, best support. I usually say that is the best support you can give me. Just like my videos and subscribe. Look, small lesson. So this is a uh, Mauritius stones. Yes. Yeah, we call it Okinawa. Okinawa. This plant right here. So the seeds can be planted, and will act as a very very good fence. They have tones. See? All right. That is it. Small indigenous tree growing right here. And more of we have actually planted some some gum trees here. So there's so many of them. Even airing the other side. Yes, but then I need to add more because I'm home. I need to add more and more. So right here we have this area here. I uh, usually graze or put our cows to graze over here. Yes, after maybe all farms have been harvested, at times we'll be bringing them here, but there's also another place 
kind of far, a little bit far away from our home, we shall take them there. Yes, I'm also going to show you that place when we'll be walking with our cows. Yes, we'll be coming adsmen right now, very soon actually, because after harvest season, you see people moving around with their animals, go graze, even five kilometers away from your home, two, even ten, depends with where you got the pasture. Yes, so the animals are right down here to grazing. And uh, yeah, more trees right here, guys. Wow. Look. Look at that. Oh, man. I think right now we should be ending this video. I hope you have been seeing me since 7.48 a.m., if I'm not wrong. When I kind of started this video, or 7.40, yeah, to be specific. So guys, uh, for me, it's just to thank you all. I uh, hope you have enjoyed watching this video. For those who joined along uh, the way, thank you so much if you followed us since we started this uh, video. Also, thank you so much. And as I've just said, remember to give the video a like. You can share. And also subscribe to the YouTube channel because it's all that is free of charge. Yes. Yeah, and that is the best support I usually say you can give me. But that is the best support you can give your boy right here. Yes. And just from here, you can be able to see the village very, very well. Cows right here. A small uh, grazing field right here. Simply a paddock. In many homesteads here in the village, you like to find a space like this where you can simply put your animals. Uh, after maybe, because you're not going to graze here for like maybe a month or two, or even one month and a half, you're going to find a lot of pasture here when you, when you come back. Yes. Alright, so guys, uh, I think for today, that is it. Since we were uh, from the farm early in the morning, we were plowing to preparing the land by slashing, by the use of a slasher right here. Yes, so let me know which task did you like the most and also will you prefer to live in the village if you are given a chance, will you? Yeah, for me, uh, simply village life is not uh, hard, it's not hard. It only depends, with your, with your, you know, they usually say we have positive and negative attitude. If, it depends with your attitude, how you take it, yes. If you take it positively, it will be all good for you. But also it's, it, I can say it's... Uh, it, it has got ups and downs, kind of, but it's all good, yeah. At the end of the day, you will enjoy because almost everything is affordable. Almost everything. Yeah, you can't... It will take you some months or even years for you to, like, go to a shop and even buy maize flour. And how do you even buy it? Because you farm it in your farms, yeah, in your home. Yes, so for me, village life, I always provide because it's more, more, and, more and more affordable. Yeah, maybe if I could be in town right now, maybe I could have spent, up to this time I could have spent close to a dollar right now. Yes, but in the village I've spent zero dollars. Yes. You milk your cows, you use the, uh, the milk to make tea, blah, blah, blah. If you want a breakfast, something, maybe you have sweet potatoes in your farm, some bananas, you can use it for breakfast. And it's the best. Yes, organic and fresh from the farm. Alright guys, so if there is anything that uh, you feel like uh, you want to know from uh, here in the village, let me know. You can drop us in the comment box down below. Ask us any question. And if you feel there is a point that I didn't touch or talk about, let me know guys. And that one being said, I just like to wish you all the best and I hope to see you in our next videos. Ciao guys.